Instead of just tweeting this out, I thought I'd take you through my new analysis. So what you can see here is the seven day averages. So the blue bars are the seven day average sales per day. So right at the start, I'll point it to you there, $400,000 an average per day. And you can see this has fallen over time. This is nothing to worry about. This is quite often the case with NFT projects. People have bought and they just want to hold. Uh, unless people are new to the market wanting to buy. But what's, you know, these are big numbers here that we're still seeing. One of the biggest reasons for perhaps not worrying is because if you was to take a quick look at that red line, that red line is average price. So the average price you can see fell. And then when we get to the main net announcement, it risen quite substantially and it started to fall again. So what I'm gonna take you through is just where I think this had some value. So you can see before the main announcement, as you would probably expect, people got impatient and the price would just fall and fall and fall. Then as soon as the main announcement came, which was on the 21st, the price shut up. This graph here shows the sales by day and you can see, whoa, the price rose. So did the sales, the sales on that day was $682,000, which is nearly, uh, it's nearly triple what it was the previous day and quadruple almost the day before that so a lot more uh, demand has pushed that price up the most outside happen after that announcement is at a few point days then the, the price has dropped but it's gone from 4.6 to 4.2 uh, so it's come down but it's stabilized when you can compare that to the pre-main announcement the average price was 3.9, so we are like 5% higher than that. The question isn't, you know, do your own research, but where are we going from here? So you can see on this chart as well on the 31st, the price didn't change much from the crypto.com arena announcement that I've just put up here. So what they've said is something could involve the crypto.com now. In my opinion, you're not gonna get uh, lions from across the globe even if it's free to, to the arena uh, for family commitments, etc. Not myself, but what you, what I think, and this is only my guess, is players are going to be holding the lions, etc., etc., and it's going to draw a lot of celebrities in. So that's my first hope. And of course, the the bigger project with the loaded lions, you know, the possibilities are endless for me. The, the staking is the thing I look forward to most. There hasn't been any; it's just been hummed and hard. There's no solid. Uh, backing behind that that's just my my guess to what can that can uh, what can be brought I think what's really encouraging in the past few days as you've all seen with the uh, the board yacht apes is it the price has just gone mental particularly with the support from Snoop Dogg and Eminem let's hope the same thing can happen with these lines but you know, we all know the potential with crypto.com how easy it is that you can got to pay these silly gas fees so people hopefully will keep coming to this platform. And shout out guys if you spot anything else. I think the, the, the most encouraging thing out of this graph is if you look at that far right there, look at that gap between how the sales are falling and that white gap between that red line. So the, the gap really forming between the sales fall, the sales volume fall, shall I say, and that average price. That is really, really encouraging. We're holding it up. Very nice is the supply and demand is the, the the supply isn't really there. Demand is falling, but supply is holding up. That's what it's really truly showing us, and that's uh, something I really like to look out for. And yeah, guys, subscribe, like, comment, tweet, whatever you can. Uh, but one thing I would ask is you go back and uh, if you haven't already, look at my crypto.com 10x evaluation of of crypto, the crow coin.